What's up guys, Sonic here from uh, Sonic Gaming 66. Just wanted to make a, another trophy pushing video, kind of let you guys know what I'm doing now. Now that I'm in Masters 2, I was in Crystal 2 last video, now I'm in Masters 2. Um, and things are different once you get to Masters, uh, definitely a lot harder bases, bases that are a lot of Town Hall 10s, which I really don't like attacking Town Hall 10s, I rarely do it. Um, so I'm doing a new army. Let's take a look at it. One barb, four archers, seven valks, five wall breakers, fifteen giants, six minions, twelve arch or er, twelve wizards, and one healer. Uh, I've seen a couple a couple other uh, YouTubers use this strategy, and I wanted to give it a try. Uh, I just lost a defense seven minutes ago. Not happy about that. Lost a lot of trophies. You know what? I should get an army cooking while I'm doing this. Get a little sun going. Um, so let's hop into a couple of replays. Check out kind of what you're looking for, what you're going for. Here we go. Alright, so what I like to look for is a town hall that is blocked off on all sides by walls. Uh, what this means is like, see this town hall, how it has, if we enter from the top, there's a set of walls here, here, and here. That's ideal, because you bring this one jump spell, you place it right in here, all your troops go right to the town hall, already guaranteeing yourself, guaranteeing yourself a one star. So, it's, let's get underway. Uh, I place a barb here to see if I can draw this clan castle. I see that there's nothing in the clan castle, that's good. Get this wizard going. Get my giants down, 15 giants, get that healer in behind them. Um, start the funnel. Funnel's pretty important with this army. You do not want your Valks walking around the base. That has happened to me before. I, it's very frustrating, so I make sure I get this army camp taken care of. I make sure I get this army camp taken care of. Then I send in my heroes, get started. I see the giants are down here working. And I say, okay, I'm going to place my jump spell now. Because it'll last for like... Uh, it, long enough. Uh, down goes the healer off the he Seeking Air Mine. Uh, rage up the Barb, get him in there. Send my Valks. They just had Look at this. This is why you take out these buildings. This is why you take out these buildings. So when you place your Valks up here, they have nowhere to go but in. Look at all the Valks that went in. I did have one take a walk. Don't know why she was the only one that did that. I think that's an AI glitch. Uh, get a healing spell down here. Just to Make sure I was a little worried, so I just guaranteed to get the one star. And boom, get the one star. Then obviously, I save some minions, I save some wizards, and I let them go around these outside trash buildings where I can just rack up to uh, 50%, speed it up a little bit. As you can see, place down some wizards here, minions, 49, 50. Boom, two stars. Uh, that's perfect. When you are trophy pushing to a very high level of Town Hall 9, uh, 2 stars more than acceptable. Saved 2 spells, so uh, obviously that's good. Uh, so let's just hop right into a live attack. Here we go. Uh, it sucks when you get hit with the defense and uh, all right, you lose your trophies. Um, so let's just take a look at this base. This is not a base, I don't think I'm going to attack this base. Because there's no clear entry to the town hall. If I place my giants down here and they went forward and I place the jump spell here, they could go to this side, they could go to that side, they completely walk around the town hall. So we're not even going to look at that. We're not going to attack that base. Um, this is level town hall 10. Not going to attack this base. Um, just, I'm not, I'm just, there's no point in going to a town hall 10. Alright, this base looks a little better. But here's the other problem. This wall and this wall. I place my jump spell right here. My troops could potentially walk to this uh, quadrant or uh, this quadrant. Now I could possibly angle through here. Place that jump spell right here so I only have one way to go. Um, but I don't think I'm going to do that. There aren't a lot of trophies for this base so I might as well find something a little easier. Uh, sometimes you do have to search for a while to kind of Find one that you know you're going to get the win, know you're going to get some solid trophies from. And yeah, it stinks, but I mean, that's part of the grind. Yeah, you got to be dedicated a little bit.
Uh, I think I'm just going to attack this base, just because I don't want to be searching all day. Uh, hopefully I can just scrape out a win. I don't think it'll be that hard. I'm going to attack this way, put my jump spell here. Hopefully it's the only uh, quadrant they decide to go in. Uh, so let's get started. Take my giants. There they go. Get that healer right behind them. Get some wall breakers in there. Uh, start the funnel. Yeah, nice wide funnel. I don't want to take any chances of my troops walking around. Get a rage spell and a jump spell. I really, really want uh, two stars on this one. I think I can get it. There's a lot of trash buildings. I'm even going to get a heal spell in here. Um, unfortunately, I don't have my heroes right now. And uh, that's because I just got attacked and got destroyed. So that is a disadvantage. And I actually just realized that while I was attacking right now. Um, that's definitely something I should have been aware of before I started the attack, but, uh, I'm gonna get away with it this time. There have been times where I've attacked, no healer, or, uh, no heroes, and it has 100% come back to bite me in the butt. Um, it looks like I'm definitely gonna get the two here. I'm at 47% already. Still have a few troops down here. A free spell, I'm at 48. I need that wizard. Okay, I think that wizard will take care of it. Get me to... 50, he might not, nope, 49, alright, he's not going to get it done, so here's what I'm going to do, wizard, up top, perfect, and boom, 50%, 2 stars, uh, not great loot, obviously I just got to this base to win, but a uh, good bonus, made back more than I spent for dark elixir, um, lost a little bit of regular elixir, but that's alright, every now and then you're going to lose a little bit. Um, while I was actually trophy pushing to Masters 3, I actually maxed out my gold storage. So gold is definitely something that you get a lot of um, when you're pushing elixir. Sometimes not so much. Alright, this has actually worked out perfect. Don't save that heal spell. Got the two going. Uh, sometimes when you train troops early in your queue, it uh, kind of comes back to bite you in the butt a little bit. Because you don't know what troops you're going to use or not use. But luckily it's just some barge troops I'm throwing away. So really not worried about that. Boom. Uh, 218. Oh, I'm too short. Oh, one more minion. There we go. Uh, 22 minutes. This army takes 29 minutes. So that's two attacks an hour. So after I get attacked, if I consistently check and attack... I can get five attacks in before my shield and my guard are up. Uh, this proves to be pretty useful because uh, we'll just take a look at like the defense log. So you see, I got attacked two hour, two and a half hours ago. Lost sixteen trophies. So since two and a half hours ago, let's see. Oh yeah, then I lost twenty one more. But um, <laughs> besides that. Usually that doesn't happen. As you guys can see, that's my only loss in the attack log. So uh, we'll, we'll use a different example. Uh, five hours and ten minutes ago. Lost 15 trophies. So now if we go after that, gained 14 there. Uh, gained 8. Gained 12. Gained 19 before I got attacked again. So I was able to get... Um, well, let's do some quick math here. 19 plus 12... Plus 8, that is 39. Plus 14. So, I gained 53 trophies after losing 15. So, all in all, before I got my next, before I got my base attacked again, I gained 38 more trophies than I had before I even got attacked the first time. So, as long as you're consistently dedicating yourself to the push, um, getting attacked really isn't a big deal. Um, very happy that in the new update, that's not so new anymore, but since I've gotten back into Clash Clans, that when you attack, your whole shield doesn't go away, you just some of it, that's super useful. The guard, also super useful. So, let's take a look at one more replay, because I just kind of want to make sure you guys really understand what you're looking for on these. Uh, let's go to another two-star like this one. No, I already showed you guys this one. We're going to go to a different two-star. That's my bad. <clears throat> oh, definitely sick. 
coming down with something. Got been drinking water all day to keep my throat from burning up. All right, this one definitely a riskier base. Uh, normally, I wouldn't be attacking a base like this because no matter where you come from, that jump spell is going to open up more than just one quadrant. And so you run the risk of your troops um, kind of moving around and not going quite to the town hall. So uh, I decided to attack through this way, stay away from the queen, stay away from the king, at least the best I could. I know down here the wizards will uh, get his attention. So the giants get through, wall number one. Here they go to wall number two. Didn't want I knew my two wall breakers, I probably should have put them in, but I uh, wanted to save the jump spell. I tried to reach all of these quadrants right here, the whole thing. Uh, didn't quite happen. That's okay, as long as it just caught this one. Uh, that's really all I needed. Valks come right in. That's why you funnel people. Get those Valks right in. That's a perfect war strategy, too. Uh, funneling, by far, is the most important strategy or skill, I should say, in Clash of Clans. Um, I'll probably make... Well, if you check out my Goho tutorial... You'll definitely see some funneling there. I'll probably dedicate a whole video to funneling at some point. Um, just get that out there for you guys. So as you see here, we got 30%. Got the town hall, one star. Now I got my archer queen, who I saved, working on all these trash buildings. I figured, alright, she can get a, at least a decent amount of percent. Maybe I can get 50 out of this one. Uh, well, I didn't think I was going to get it, honestly. But um, uh, yeah, I was like, you know what, we're going to go and try. There's a lot of trophies to get from this base. So down goes the queen. I'm at 43. Minions working here. Minions working there. <coughs> 46. 47. Down they go. I said I still got a little bit of hope up here. Let's see. Bam. Down goes that. 49. And then luckily with one minion, I find a little spot up here, but the archer tower just quite can't reach. Air defense is nowhere close. Boom. 50%. And that's a that's a solid two-star right there. Uh, so that's it. Try to keep this video a little short. Um, that's the army I'm using. If you guys want to take another look at that. Boom. Right here, screenshot that if you want. It does not change. Sometimes I don't use all the spells, and that's perfectly okay. You want to stay efficient. And you guys might be looking at this saying, Wow, look at how little loot you're getting. But the, the bonus loot that you get from being in Masters 2 is so high, I always have enough elixir to keep raiding and keep making my army. So uh, it's worth it in the long run. And that's going to be it for this video. I just wanted to kind of show you guys what I'm doing now. Because before I was doing the Lelunian or the balloons with the barge troops. But once you get to these better bases, that's just not going to cut it. Uh, the air defenses are too good. Uh, as you guys can see from my base, it's pretty easy to attack me right now. I only have one air defense up. So when people see my base, they just zap quake that right out and destroy it. Uh, but that's okay. So uh, this is Sonic, Sonic signing off. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. That'd be so great. I really appreciate everyone who tunes into any of these videos. Thank you very much.